flipping crazy story courtesy of new york times governor cuomo man uh, horny horny cuomo if he's not out there you know um sticking old people into sticking old people with covid into old people's home and you know effectively killing hundreds if not thousands of them he's out there sexually harassing allegedly aides that work with him this is just a terrible state of affairs and again such a um fall from grace from somebody who just earlier was producing did he, did he write a book about how well he was dealing with covid and now he's in a position where he's essentially being um removed from office or kind of his influence is somehow dwindling his star is dimming because of these heinous accusations that have been kind of uh, placed against him. This courtesy of New York Times it says sexual harassment claims against Cuomo what we know so far. Um it says here uh, let's read this. Um, Governor Cuomo is confronting one of the most tumultuous moments of the of, of the three terms in office after two women who once worked with his administration accuse him of sexually harassing them. Under the intense public and political pressure, the governor's office asks the state attorney governor to appoint someone to conduct an outside investigation into sexual harassment claims against Governor Cuomo, a Democrat. On Sunday evening, Mr. Cuomo issued an apology of sorts, right, saying, again, this is, this is when you know you're a piece of shit. Um, I acknowledge some of the things I have said and um, been misinterpreted as unwanted flirtation. To the extent anyone felt um, a way that way, I'm truly sorry. So if you did feel like I offended you, if you did feel like I unnecessarily touched you up, then I'm sorry. Like, Jesus Christ. And on Monday, a third woman described an unwanted advance from the governor at a wedding, prompting several Democrats to call on the governor to resign. The deepening scandal marks one of the lowest points of Mr. Cuomo's tenure as thrust the political future into uncertainty as he faces renewed scrutiny of his administration decision to withhold data on the nursing home deaths um, during the pandemic. But it's funny to, to see that somehow, um, the, again, this is not it is not my judgment. It just is what it is. It's interesting that the lives of these three women or their, you know, their experience, you know, at the hands of Governor Cuomo, is far more important than the deaths of hundreds, if not thousands of old people in old people's homes um, during COVID. Right. Because none of this kind of heat was at him when, you know, when it was obviously uncovered that he might have done something nefarious uh, relating to nursing homes, whatever it may be. And the numbers were fudged. Nothing really happened, really. He kind of rid that out and kind of kept it moving. But the moment these three um, angel looking um, women who worked alongside him, direct, you know, contact with the guy came out and said he's a creep. He said some untowards thing to me. And again, from what we can see so far, there's been nothing uh, past saying from what again i'm not like, reading into it but i think it's there's been nothing physically like you know no like you know rape or anything it's just been obviously unprofessional and um you know stuff that you probably shouldn't be doing to your aid especially in the position of power that he has but still isn't it mad to think like you know the lives of thousands of old people is not that important right to bring down a, polit a politician who is kind of framing himself up to be the covid savior of new york instead these three women come out and immediately everything stops right immediately people are like on you know on call and, and paying attention to everything going on so it says the ex-a the first lady here it says christian bennett a 25 year old former aide of the governor accused um him of sexually harassing her la last year when she was 24 how old is he is he at 63 jesus christ this is terrible 63 had asked her about her sex life and whether she had ever had sex with older men come on bruv this is creep 101 behavior miss bennett who left the administration in november described one instance in which when she was alone with the governor in his state capital office mr cuomo asked if her if she thought age made a difference in romantic relationships remarks she took as overtures of sexual relationships now this is precisely one of those power dynamic things because sometimes the power dynamic can get a bit annoying people describing it they can sometimes conflate the issue and overuse the term but this is not um this is not kosher man like if you're a governor of Cuomo's stature and you're somebody that it feels like he was kind of you know putting his hat in the ring and trying to demonstrate how good he was at politics and governing so he could eventually maybe run for president one time I don't know but whatever it may be he's a big deal right and I imagine being the mayor being a governor of New York it probably lends to a lot of political influence and you know he probably has a lot of clout, a lot of connections and you know how he goes on the Italian he kind of acts like a bit like a quasi mob boss anyway which is really bizarre him and his brother so you can only imagine the 
the kind of fear and intimidation that he kind of demands from the staff whenever he walks around. I can imagine him walking through the corridor, people kind of, you know, freeze up and they don't want to speak about certain things. So just imagine how horrible it must be for a young woman, 24 years old, right? You're inexperienced, you're coming into politics, you're wide-eyed, naive, thinking you're going to make a change, all this sort of stuff. And you're looking up to this guy, he's a charismatic dude, right? Leading the thing, he's probably introduced you to his wife, he's showing a picture of his family and then suddenly he's asking you whether or not you flipping shagged older men like maddening man maddening um then it continues here i don't know what did she say uh the the oh sorry mr yeah uh miss bennett said that she reported the incident to the governor with the governor sorry to his chief of staff and was transferred to another job right similar to what they do in the catholic church instead of addressing the issue they just transferred her somewhere else uh disgusting she also provided a lengthy statement about the episode to a special counsel of the to the governor the times corroborated miss bennett's account through interviews with friends family members she told about the incidents at the time and the review of the contemporaries um contra what's it what's that how do you say that word Conto contemporaneous text messages and emails in a statement on saturday mr Cuomo described miss bennett as a hard-working and valued member of his staff and said he respected her right to speak out <laughs> i thought he's gonna say something else i was gonna say that bitch is a liar i thought he's gonna say that he said i've never made advances towards the bennett nor did i ever intend to act in a way that was inappropriate very clever wording i never made advances because technically just saying that isn't an advance it's sort of like a um it's sort of like a weirdly rhetorical question, but you know where you're getting at, isn't it? So I get where he's trying to be a bit clever there, but you know, creeps are going to creep. Um, but also, isn't it funny the timing of all this? I wonder if this is kind of um, what's that word called? Um, when you're sort of trying to protect your own back, because it's obvious that you know, Como's star is dimming, he's most likely going to, you know, not have a he's not going to come out of this with a good report card. So if any, so if anything, most of these women probably are, you know, that association next to him, that kind of smudge and that cloud that resides over you probably isn't going to go away. People in process probably remember that sort of shit. So what better way to really distance yourself than to say, hey, that guy's a creep. He just some really filthy things to me. It could be just advantageous. It could just be a coincidence. It could just be, you know, they're going to come out now. But I find the timing really interesting. Um, but regardless, these accounts are horrible. Um, another female aide said the governor kissed me on the lips oh jesus i take back the physical stuff so something did happen miss bennett's um accusations came only a day after another former administration aide lindsey boy boyle boyle yeah boyle elaborated on the previous sexual harassment claims that she said that she had lodged against the governor miss boy boylan sorry boylan yeah boylan miss boylan had worked for the state's economic um development agency from 2015 2018 published an essay on wednesday in which she detailed several years of uncomfortable interactions oh my god miss boylan who said her boss at the time would told her that Cuomo had a crush on her quote unquote said the governor um went out of his way to touch me on my lower back arms and legs and again i bet you any money that flipping boss was a was a woman and if it was, you need to take a long, hard look at yourself for relaying that message of, of disgustingness. Um, in October 2017, during a fight, sorry, during a flight back from the event in West North New York, Miss Boylan said Mr. Como told her that he would pay, play strip poker. Jesus Christ. And in 2018, she said Mr. Como gave her an unsolicited kiss after a one-on-one -on -one meeting in his Manhattan office. Oh, my God. As I got up to leave and walk around to open the door, he stepped in front of me and kissed me on the lips. I was in shock, but I kept walking. Walking. The governor's office said that Miss Boylan's claims were false and did not call for independent review of allegations. Oh my God, there's going to be so many people who are going to get buried from this. Miss Boylan, who's running for Manhattan by a president, first publicly accused Boylan a coma of the assault in December, but did not specify details. After Miss Bennett went public with accusation, Miss Boylan called on Mr. Como to resign. His abuse of power never ends, she wrote. He does not get to choose his judge and jury. We do. That's her there. Mamma mia. A third woman recounted her unwanted advances and Rouge 33 said she encountered Mr. Cuomo at a party. Um sorry, at a wedding. They attended in September twenty eleven. 2019 sorry when they began talking about a toast the governor had given mr Cuomo then put his hand on her lower back again with the lower back move and the touching and shit right keep your hands to yourself my guy when he removed her hand when she removed his hand with her own the governor remarked that she seemed aggressive and that placed his hands on the cheeks and asked if she'd want to kiss miss ruth said she pulled away as the governor drew closer 
She said, I quote, I was so confused and shocked and embarrassed, said Miss Roosh, whose recollection was corroborated by a friend, contemporary, contemporariness, text messages and photographs from the event. I turned my head away and didn't have words. Is that the picture that everyone's floating around now where he's kind of awkwardly, creepily grabbing the what young lady's face and she looks every like every bit like she's recoiling inside oh yeah yeah mrs roach um example is an ex is in distinct is distinct from the other two accusations she has never been employed by the governor or the state still her experience reinforces escalating concerns about mr Cohen's personal conduct she said it's an act of impunity that strikes me i didn't even have a choice in the matter i didn't have a choice in his physical dominance over me and that moment and that's what infuriates me and even what i could and even what i could do removing his hand from my lower back even doing that was not clear enough yeah because that's a thing in it that, that, that just must be a thing about older men they just have no idea, no kind of concept of personal space and signs and signals and shit. You're just old, you know what I mean? All you do is shit and fart and put on nipple rings and shit. You probably have no idea how to talk to women. Like, does he even have a wife and family too? It's like, God almighty, brother. Um, relax. For any politician, um, including Democrats, Mrs. Rich's story proved to be the tipping point. Um, on Monday night, Representative Kathleen Rice, a, a former uh, Nusu County um, the the district attorney became the first Democrat in New York Congress, a delegation to call for Ms. Cuomo to resign. She said a person who treats women in this way is not fit to govern. John C. Liu, a Democrat state attorney. For, so yeah, man, it's not looking good for the guy and it? it's not looking good for him. And again, he deserves it, man, for the kind of, you know, catastrophe mm -hmm. that he's kind of dealt with um, COVID in New York. The fact that he then decided to do a U-turn and open things up the moment Trump got, you know, um, booed out of the White House clearly showing that he politicized the entire issue at the, you know, at the negative cost to his own citizens and, you know, the whole thing with the nursing homes. Yeah, this is probably, this is, this is, um, this is one of those things that you say karma definitely came knocking at his door. So yeah, let's see how that transpires. Let's see how that transpires. 